my name is Ira. And my name is Irene. We are both intellereaders. We are portable devices that help children and adults with reading pace disabilities to confidently read almost any printed text anywhere they want. In this video chapter, we will show you how to use this to get the best results when scanning in text. We will show you what kind of lighting you need, how to position the subjects you are capturing, and how to hold us for the best text recognition possible. The first thing we need to cover is lighting. We can't see much with insufficient light. We won't be able to see the text well enough to capture it. We also cannot see the detailed text if the light is too bright or harsh. When the light is directly overhead or less than 5 feet from the subject, the words may be washed out and indistinct. We won't be able to see them. This is what we want to see. The light should neither be too harsh, nor angled too low. You should keep us at least 5 feet away from a strong light source such as a table lamp or window. It is also very important that your text material be properly prepared to be captured. Round objects such as soup cans, medicine bottles, and creased or wrinkled papers are very difficult for us to see properly. Don't forget, Ira, that we can't recognize handwritten material. We can only capture printed text. That is true, Irene. If the object can be flattened, flatten it as much as you can. Use objects to hold the subject down. Bend back the spine of a book. Do anything you can to make the subject as flat as possible. For the vision impaired, in addition to text that is placed right side up, text can also be upside down or sideways. We can still capture and read it. The size of the text is important too. Some really large text may look like a picture to us. Very fine small text that is not spaced well or that is printed on poorer quality paper may not be easily readable. Sometimes, it is important to hide parts of a page that has information or text that you don't want us to read. To do this, place pieces of blank paper or plain cardboard over the parts of the page that are not related to what you want us to see. Beware. When capturing text from a target document while other documents are too close to the captured space, we may capture text from both documents and mix the text together. If you are not using us with the portable capture station, you need to hold us correctly in order for us to see the text you want us to read. When you are sitting at a desk or table, you need to hold us at nose level with the display screen facing you. This will provide a good average capture distance. According to what you are trying to read, you can get as close as 4 inches and as far away as 3 feet. Since our camera is located at the bottom of our case, you do need to hold us perpendicular to the subject. Make sure the text you want to capture fills the screen. If you hold us at an angle that is not perpendicular to the subject, we won't be able to see the text you want us to read. The worse the angle we are held at, the more likely we won't be able to properly see the text. Once you have met these conditions, you can capture the text image by pressing the blue shoot button at the top right of our case. By using us properly, you will be able to easily capture and read text that could not normally be seen or comprehended. We can see best if you light the subject just right. Not too light. Not too dark. You also need to prepare the subject so that we can see it properly. The subject must be as flat as possible. 
You can use pieces of blank paper to hide things you don't want us to read. If you are not using our Intel Portable Capture Station, you need to hold us properly. We must be held at nose level so that the display screen faces you. You can be anywhere from 4 inches to 3 feet away from your subject. You must also hold us perpendicular to the text. Make sure the text you want to capture fills the display screen before capturing. In the next video chapter of using the Intel Reader, we will focus on the buttons to press to scan items into us. Good night, Ira. Good night, Irene.